Hi, this is Asim. Today I'd like to share how to solve this differential equation. We can first rewrite the equation we should have x squared plus x times y divide the x is equal to negative 3xy plus y squared. As press divide the x in terms of x and y, we should obtain negative 3xy plus y squared over x squared plus x times y. As we can see, the variables are not separable, but they are of the same degree, which means that this is homogeneous differential equation. We can let y be equal to vx. Differentiate both sides with respect to x, we should obtain dy dx is equal to v plus x tv dx. Now substitute this into the equation that we formed, so which means that we have v plus x tv dx is equal to negative 3xy is vx plus vx squared divided by x squared plus x vx. Factorize the common factors, so we have negative x squared times 3v plus v squared divided by x squared times 1 plus v. Simplify, we should obtain negative 3v plus v squared divided by 1 plus v. On the left, we can bring the v to the right plus become minus v and the left left only x tv dx factorize the negative so we have 3v plus v square plus v so we standardize the denominator plus v times 1 plus v plus v times plus v plus v square divided by 1 plus v simplify we should obtain negative 3 plus 1 for v plus 1 plus 1 2v squared divided by 1 plus v. We can now split the variable, so which means that we should have 1 plus v divided by 4v plus 2v squared dv is equal to negative 1 over x dx. Integrate with respect to the corresponding variable. When we integrate the left hand side, we can check that the denominator is 4v plus 2v squared. When we differentiate, we should obtain 4 plus 4v. Unfortunately, the numerator is only 1 plus v, which means that lack of a factor 4. If we times 4, this is imbalanced as compared to the previous line. So we can times 1 over 4 to balance it. And now we should bring 1 over 4 to the right so that we are able to simplify the equation in an easier manner. So we have 4 negative times integrate 1 over x dx. And the left hand side is 4 plus 4v over 4v plus 2v squared. We just have to integrate with respect to v. So we have ln 4v plus 2v squared is equal to negative 4 ln x plus constant c. Apply the Law of logarithm, we should have negative ln x to the power of 4 plus c. And we just have to replace v with y over x. So which means that we should have ln 4 times y over x plus 2 times y over x squared. Simplify the left hand side, we should have ln 4y plus 2y squared over this is x squared so this one is only x is equal to negative ln x to the power 4 plus c standardize the denominator of the left hand side so which means that we have 4xy plus 2y square over x square is equal to negative ln x to the power 4 plus c we can bring this minus ln 4 to the power 4 to the left so which means that we have ln 4xy plus 2y square over x square minus spring over plus ln x to the power 4 is equal to c. According to the law of logarithms, ln a plus ln b is equal to ln a times b. So which means that this part we should have ln x to the power 4 times 4xy plus 2y 
square over x square is equal to c. So we simplify x to the power 4 divided by x to the power 2, which means that we have ln x to the power 2 times 4xy plus 2y squared is equal to c. Now we can take anti log for both sides. So e ln ln e we obtain 1. So 1 times anything we get the same thing. We can expand this so we have 4 times x to the power 3y plus 2x squared y squared is equal to e to the power c is a constant so we can use constant to replace so we can let c2 be equal to e to the power of c. Now let's move everything to the left we should have 2x squared y squared plus 4x cubed y minus c2 is equal to 0. As we can see, this is actually a quadratic function in terms of y. So we have a is equal to 2x squared, b equal to 4x cubed, and c equal to minus c2. We just have to apply the quadratic formula y is equal to minus b plus minus square root of b squared minus 4ac divided by 2a. Uh, substitute all the a, b, c into this formula, we should have minus 4x cubed plus minus square root of b squared, square of 4, 16, square of x cubed, x to the power of 6, minus minus plus 4 times 2, 8x squared, c2, and divided by 2 times 2, 4x squared. In order to have exactly the same factor, we can rewrite square root of 16x to the power of 6 plus 16x squared c3, where c3 is equal to 2 times c2. So we have 2 times 8 become 16 divided by 4x squared. Now factorize the common term. We have minus 4x cubed plus minus common term for the second term here, square root of 16x squared. And we left x to the power 4 plus c3 divided by 4x squared. So which means that if we simplify, we should obtain y is equal to minus 4 divided by 4 minus 1 x cubed divided by x minus x so we have plus minus square root 16x squared divided by 4x squared so this is 1 over x and we times square root of x to the power 4 plus c3 and we done okay that's all for this video thanks for watching hope you like this see you